first day of earnings season. Big banks kicking off the results that we're getting. Let's start with some of the results that we got this morning. Our three themes or three takeaways from these earnings reports from J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Citi, and Wells Fargo. Brad, three things that I'm focused on. First, the comments that we heard from J.P. Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon. A bit tepid in terms of his outlook here for 2024. He went on to say that he does expect the possibility of inflation to be stickier and rates to be higher than what the markets expect. I bring this up because that's obviously could potentially put Pressure on companies outside of banks, a number of sectors, consumer staples, consumer discretionary. You talked about airlines a little bit today with Delta. That could have the impact or potential here to really pressure some of the results that we're getting, not only this quarter, but also looking out to 2024. Cost discipline, something that we've been talking about now for quite some time. City cutting another 20,000 jobs. This is all part of the bank's transformation or turnaround plan that's underway from CEO Jane Frazier. And then also deal activity. Yeah. There's been lots of anticipation of a rebound here in deal activity. At least the numbers that we're getting from these banks doesn't exactly match up with the optimistic outlooks that we've heard from another of the, a number of bankers and a number of analysts here over the last couple of weeks. I'm just sitting here grinning. Get pumped, everybody. It's earnings <laughs> season once again. I mean, this fresh business news is going to be coming at you like water out of a firing hose. So at the end of the day here, one of the things that I am watching very closely, as we were mentioning at the top of the show, and some of the pull through perhaps that we can expect this earnings season is really what we heard about the consumer from Delta CEO Ed Bastian. And I always love to get some of his economic read and how he's really seeing the consumer environment. And one of the things that he mentioned during my call with him was where he says that, you know, depending upon where you're looking at within this environment, the consumer generally is in a good spot. Now, remember, they're catering to a very premium customer here, and he acknowledges that some might have a different perspective depending upon where you're sitting in the economy. And we're going to hear a range of that over the course of this earnings season. And one area that we can continue to track, especially for some of the business to consumer companies, is the prices that consumers are willing to pay. Now, it's also the cycles that many of these businesses are moving through. And for Delta, that was one that's present. We saw the ascension uh, and the return of post-pandemic travel. 2023 was the first year where we finally re, re or eclipsed a pre-pandemic level and so now what does cruising altitude look like and does leveling off of some of that margin growth does that hit some of the investor sentiment that's going to be some of the larger business story narratives that we hear about on the cyclical levels here as we move on throughout and we're just getting season. started oh lots yes. to look forward to next week now. <laughs>